Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with a tutorial about Wave Dupe. So let's get cracking. Friends, the other day I did a shout out of this amazing design by Tinker Tesla, which uses something called Wave Dupe. This design right here has more than 8,000 shapes, and they're duplicated and nudged to give it this awesome texture. Let me give you a short tutorial on how to make Wave Dupe work for your designs. Friends, this is a fun lizard that was created by 6th grader TT that I taught this year. It is cool, 3D printable. We have a tutorial about it. You can check the tutorial up above if you want to make your own. TT used a form of wave duplication as she made this awesome tail. We're going to make one a little bit fancier by using spheres instead of the capsule that she did. So friends, first let's bring out a sphere. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to shrink it to what I want the first size to be. So this is going to be this back tail right here. I'm going to make it a green just because that makes it more cool. I'm going to make it a little bit oblong just because I want to. All right, friends, so now this is where we do the magic. Make sure your grid is set at one, and we're gonna do Control D. Arrow key back twice over once. We are going to do Alt Shift, and instead of nine, I want you to type 8.6 and press enter. I'm gonna set my nudge to point one, and I'm gonna do control down one chunk. So it's gonna sweep back and around. Now I haven't touched anywhere to cancel this out. So that's what makes this really fun. I'm also gonna rotate it 20 some degrees. Let's try 24. Now when I do control D again and again and again, you can see that spins around and makes that cool little shape using what we call wave dupe. Now if you don't like how it turned out, you can just start again. I'm gonna delete these guys and let's do this one more time. I'm gonna set my nudge back to one. This time I'm gonna go back one, two. I'm gonna do my Alt Shift. I'm gonna type 8.7 and press Enter. So it's a little different number. I'm gonna rotate it 13 degrees. I'm gonna go over one. And I'm gonna go back one more. And then I'm gonna switch to my point one and I'm gonna do control down one. So I've done all of that without clicking here. It's just guess and check. Control D again and again and again. Oh my gosh, friends, that is a pretty sweet lizard tail. Same idea as this one, but you just go around and around and around as you use wave dupe to make awesome shapes. Friends, I do wanna remind you that if you're 3D printing, we need to cut this off. Here's how I cut it off. I'm gonna make a box that's definitely large enough to cut it all, and I'm gonna change the height to five. Now if I set my nudge to five millimeters and do control down, it will cut that off flat so that it's ready for 3D printing. I'm gonna just select it all and hit group, and we have just used wave duplication, or wave dupe for short, to make an awesome lizard tail. How fun is that? All right, friends, so in wrapping this up, that is how you do wave duplication. Tinker Tesla did wave duplication here for the body. You can see how these nudge backward, and that's how she made it. The rest of the parts are, of course, made other ways, but that is the main technique for getting the body of each of these designs. So if you're trying to make your own, that's where you start. Now, one thing she did share with me is she quite often works at 0.25 for the nudge. That is a better amount of movement. 0.1 is too small, and when you're using one, that's just too much. So that is just one tip she shared with me, and hopefully you guys have a ton of fun using wave dupe in your projects as well friends remember if you do make something you think is super cool and want to share it with me it is so simple click on this button generate a link copy the link and reach out and share it with me i am hl mod tech on facebook instagram gmail and tiktok you can also find me on twitter i am hl tinkercad of course, if that is not available, you can also visit hlmodtech.com. It is my website, and I have the sweet Tinkercad tab with all the amazing lessons. And then down on the bottom is the sweet built-in messaging. You can add a question, comment, or shoot me a share link almost instantly. 
I do also want to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord. Friends, it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. And most importantly, friends, I want to thank Tinker Tesla for sharing her sweet designs and the wave duplicating technique with us. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.